Hey everyone, I'm Rob and welcome to the test drive. Today, I'm driving the 2018 Cadillac XTS. First, we are giving away a GoPro Hero 4 session camera on the channel. I'm so excited to give it away. This is gonna be the first of many giveaways. So if you haven't already and you want to and you enjoy the content on the channel, hit that subscribe button, become a part of the fun, and you'll automatically be entered to win the GoPro Hero 4 session camera. Now the XTS was somewhat redesigned for the 2018 model year. It does have some similarities. It wasn't a complete overhaul, but there are significant differences. It does look different from the 2017, and I actually reviewed the 2017 maybe four months ago. So it's nice that I'm now getting to drive the 2018 and I can share a lot of the differences with you. Oh, so much dorks to hear. <laughs> So if you saw my review of the 2017 Cadillac XTS, you'll see that I really liked the car, but there were a lot of similarities between the 2017 XTS and the 2017 or 2018 Impala Premier. One thing that I'm pleased to see with the 2018 XTS is that it really has further differentiated itself from the Impala Premier. It really doesn't feel very much like an Impala, whereas the 2017 really did, even though it was very nice, and the Impala Premier is a very nice car, I just felt like there should have been more of a distinction between the two brands, and the two vehicles. So we're gonna start with the outside of the 2018 Cadillac XTS. Now, I really do like the way that GM designed this and really refreshed the design. It just is a very elegant looking car. It has so many lines and angles. I really love the look of the front. I like the look of the front of the 2017 as well, but they really refreshed it in a really nice way for 2018, made it more aggressive, but more elegant. It has some really nice headlights. I mean, the way this car looks at night from the outside is awesome. I really love that. And Cadillac has always done an amazing job with their front ends. I also love the look of this vehicle from the back. You have some very nice tail lights. I love the dual exhaust. This 2018 XTS just looks more modern, more aggressive, more stylish, more elegant, more expensive. Now there are several trims available of the 2018 XTS, the base model, which is just simply called the XTS. You do have several trims above that that will obviously get you more features and certainly up the price of the vehicle. Now when you get to the interior of the 2018 XTS, I'm again pleased to see that GM made some positive changes. We have a very nice, very soft steering wheel, looks really awesome. You have some really nice wood grain and other trim options for the interior. You have padding everywhere. I mean, there's not a surface in this car that isn't comfortable to touch. It just is a really nice look in here, very elegant feels very nice as well. These seats are even softer than the previous seats. I had mentioned that the previous seats for the 2017 were so similar to the Impala, and here they are different. They are better. I mean, they look better, they feel better. It's just a really comfortable place to be. I drove this car about nine hours yesterday, and I mean, it was so comfortable. It was just an awesome place to be. This XTS also has a lot of room. I mean, you really do feel how big of a sedan this is when you're inside. The driver and front passenger have a lot of room and then you have a very large back seat. I'm six feet tall, I was able to sit behind myself with no issues. And then you also have a very large trunk to go along with it. And that's one of the selling points that Cadillac 
or GM brags about having 18 cubic feet of space in the trunk. And you do, I mean, you have a, a really large trunk that can fit large suitcases, golf bags, you name it. The spacing of this vehicle is laid out well and it really is intended to be a large luxury sedan that you can, you know, have four people, five people in driving on a long trip with a lot of gear. So, you know, I really do like that. Now getting to the performance of the 2018 XTS, there are two different engines available. Both of them are 3.6 liter V6s. One of them is naturally aspirated, producing 304 horsepower, 264 pound-feet of torque. That's what I have in this XTS. And then you also have a 410 horsepower twin turbocharged V6. That obviously would be an awesome option to have in this XTS. You can get front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, and with that higher uh, twin turbo engine you can only get all-wheel drive obviously the traction situation or lack thereof would just be insane uh, you know put pairing that engine with front-wheel drive but you know if you're getting the naturally aspirated v6 which is the same 3.6 liter v6 that GM uses in so many of its vehicles um, then that you can get front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive I have front-wheel drive in this XTS and while I don't mind it. Obviously, I greatly prefer all-wheel drive or even rear-wheel drive, especially from the performance aspect. I mean, you do get a lot of torque steer in this car with this engine, you know, sending 304 horsepower to only the front wheels. Uh, you know, you do get a lot of torque steer. You get quite a bit of wheel spin, but I mean, again, it still drives very nicely. Now, when you're taking tight corners in this car, you really do feel its size. I mean, this is a big sedan, and you know, it doesn't hide that in terms of handling. I mean, it certainly feels like it moves rather effortlessly. It's not insanely quick with this engine, but you know, it's just one of those things where at the end of the day, you still do feel its size and the fact that this is a really large sedan. cannot floor it without getting wheel speed, even if you're already moving. I mean, if you floor it, you are just going to get a lot of wheel spin, no matter what. It's just completely unavoidable with this engine with front wheel drive. You also get these paddle shifters right behind the steering wheel, but it's very interesting the fact that you don't actually see them. I mean, they're completely invisible to the driver. They give you the ability to shift gears yourself if you want but you know, also hiding them to kind of preserve the luxury look. Now GM also made some positive changes to the technology in the 2018 XTS. The previous Cadillac Q system was fine, but it was just a little bit outdated in terms of look and functionality, and it's just nice to see the changes that they made. Again, it was really similar to the Chevy MyLink or the GMC and Telelink systems. It really it didn't stand out on its own at all. It's nice to see that they really refined it here. It looks like a higher end system. Very nice looking, very functional. It does come standard with navigation, which I really like. You also get a very nice large backup camera, which has rear parking sensors. You also get front parking sensors as well. The entire instrument cluster is the same from 2017 to 2018. So that's something that was not changed and it really didn't need to be. I mean, I like the way that this looks in here. This screen underneath the speedometer gives you a lot of vehicle information. The XTS also comes standard with push button start, remote start, and the proximity key to enter the vehicle. You also get heated and cooled seats, standard in the XTS, as well as a heated steering wheel. So I really love the luxury amenities that are standard in here, and it really is what you'd expect in a Cadillac. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2018 Cadillac XTS. I'm Rob. 
this is the test drive. If you haven't already and you want to and you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button and you'll automatically be entered to win the GoPro Hero 4 Session camera that we're giving away for hitting 1,000 subscribers before February 20th. So thanks again for taking this test drive with me and I'll talk to you soon.